Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's the certifiable she-ro who became a bona fide sex symbol in the 1970s when she starred in iconic films like Foxy Brown Coffee and Sheba Baby. Yes, with a catalog of classic movies under her belt and new projects in the works, this living legend contins continues to prove she's a bad mama jam. Yes, she is. Please welcome the one, the only, Pam Greer. Yes! <laughs> It's a pleasure. Bye, that's a more. Oh, yes, yes, more. Yes. I love it. Have a seat right here. Oh, my goodness. Pam Greer is down to the circle. In How the are you feeling today? Better now. Better now. Because I'm with the sister circle. Yay. Come on now. Yes. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. You know, um, the reason why I'm here is, is something that's been very, very important to say to everyone regarding marketing our brands. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be a Black Panther if we didn't market our images and movies and directors and producers for the last 50 years. Yes. Wow. yes. Okay. So that's why the Brown Sugar app mm -hmm. has 250 titles of all of our movies. Ossie oh, Davis, who played okay. my dad in the yes, L Word. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Richard Pryor, he did The Black Brigade. So many great movies that my mom couldn't see because she was feeding children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now she gets to see it at 90. Classic And movies. now we can see our images so positive yes. and our narratives being told. So yes. it's important. Yes, yes. So I wanted to make sure that we thought about Supporting yes, our brands, absolutely. supporting our shows, mm -hmm. supporting um, saints and sinners, supporting, yes. you know, and, and you may not understand a person's personal political dogmas, but it's the art yes. that sustains us all. Right, let's yes. talk about the art and how you even got started into yes. acting. Because this is a great story. <laughs> Man. Oh, Lord, <laughs> I get it. Well, it's going to be a movie, mm -hmm. Foxy, My Life in Three Acts. Well, Benny really? Richard, one of the producers of Fresh Prince, wrote the screenplay. And uh, uh, Jay Farrell is going to play Richard Pryor. Yes. Oh, my, my, I love him. Isn't he terrific? He's, uh, he's, uh, he's fantastic. fantastic. Me yes. and my husband watched that. Love that I show. love that so show. He's, yeah. he's fantastic. So I was in um, pre-med, mm -hmm. and... I really wanted to get into film and I was telling one of your producers that it was only four film schools at the time when I graduated in 67 mm -hmm. wow. and so he said you're going to have to transfer and go to UCLA so I said I can do that mm -hmm. live in my aunt's garage you know mm -hmm. you know eat cheese and crackers yeah. for, for you know being a film student I couldn't get in so I joined a film student group that day that I was on campus mm -hmm. and I learned how to make film and I was just crew there wasn't gender issues. I was just crew. Yeah, and I loved it. Yes. Wow. And and I and then I met Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, mm -hmm. who was Lou Alcindor on campus, mm -hmm. and he thought thought I was quite homely. And for us, <laughs> <laughs> I drove in with my family's hunting jeep. You yeah. know, with you know buckshot holes, no roof, no windows, no floorboards. I was a starving student, seriously trying to get into, you know, school. And they had the Black Student Union. They had Black Panthers. There was a lot going on in the '70s yes. politically. Mm -hmm. So I could see there's a lot of narrative, a lot of stuff that's been bubbling below the circles that's going to explode. Mm -hmm. Women issues, Gloria Stein, the women's movement. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is a good time to be a film student. Yes. So that's how I got into So Roger Corman, one of my five jobs, um, offered me to be in a, in a movie. And I said, no, I, I, I want to, you know, I'm a student. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about acting. So um, I had some trauma. I had a third attack mm -hmm. and I won. Mm -hmm. I, I beat up a man who was trying to, you know, hurt oh, wow. me. Right, right. And um, I went back to Roger and said, I'll take that job. I, I don't know how to be an actor. Mm -hmm. I can't get fired. you got to talk to my mama. Mm -hmm. But this is what I want to do. Now, That's what, I, what I love about, well, what's so interesting about what you just said is that there was controversy even in the 70s when it came mm -hmm. to black film and mm -hmm. women. How have you seen black women in film evolve from that time till now, especially with all the political things that are happening with Me Too and Time's Up and Mute R. Kelly and all of this stuff that's going on? Well, the th women's confidence in themselves to tell the truth because it's very it, difficult when you have in family and cultural and each... Mm -hmm. See, we're not monolithic religiously, yes. demographically, economically okay mm -hmm. we're at different levels so when you have for me women who come from the black underground to my grandparents home in wyoming they mm -hmm. my great-grandmother owned a, a hotel for the blacks and chinese that worked on the railroad mm -hmm. a la blazing saddle mm -hmm. and she was a sugar beet farmer and she was a single mom right. she took care of my granddad who said i want all the girls how to hunt fish should be equal right. so 
with that said, you bring that confidence to the work. Yes. Fast forward action, more mm -hmm. women in action. Yes. However, you know, and not to, because I am a very spiritual person, very Catholic schools, Earth, Wind and Fire were in my gospel group, mm -hmm. you know, baptized as Methodist, mm -hmm. you know, understand dogma and culture yeah. right. and, and, and knowing that we can't say you're not better, you're not as good right. as a religion, whatever. So I said, you know, Every Sunday, if our pastors, including my relatives, don't, don't herald women's achievement in Scripture, how do we expect society to do that? Right. Yeah. Right. So as long yeah. as they bring that up, we're good. Right. Yes. I want to tell everybody about your Brown Sugar app. It is available for mobile phones and tablets through the iTunes App Store and Google Play Store. Yes, and the conversation always continues on SisterCircleTV.com. Boy, does it. Yes, it does. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. That's right. <laughs> Pam Gray, everybody. Yes. Yes. Awesome. 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 Oh, man, and welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We decided to keep the amazing, the iconic, the legendary Pam Greer with us a little Thank longer. Do you like all those yeah. 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 A little you. bit longer. Oh, true, honey. Of course, we have Trina true. and Kiana joining the conversation. You must. And, yes, yes, we must. Yes. We must. So I want to uh, kick things off. Jada Pinkett and Gabrielle Union just uh, reconciled after 17 years. Saying what? That. Yeah. <laughs> and there was some beef there, you know. Really? Yes, yes. And they were very reflective. A quote says, I had been shrinking other people hoping that I'm growing. That was a quote from Gabrielle Union. Did, and back in the day, did you face that type of uh, dissension with other black women? There weren't that many of us. Right. <laughs> First of all, but if I had a job and I, you know, couldn't do it, I would say, call, let's see, Vanetta McGee, yes. mm. my friend. When I didn't know she was ill, and when she passed away, it hurt me deeply because we did have that camaraderie. Yes. Tamara Dobson. Mm. You know, we were supposed to do, after she did her uh, Cleopatra Jones and I did the Coffee and Foxy Brown, we were going to start with Warner Brothers at, uh, as a buddy team, Ooh. buddy oh, picture. Nice. And she fell in love. And, and well, that, you know. Yeah, that's an yeah. 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 So I was by myself on the skating rink going, where are you at? You right. know, so, Girl. But we would have opened up more for, to show the camaraderie. Yeah. There was only really like four of us who were box office and and who were, I was going into writing and directing as well and producing, so I was expanding, mm -hmm. and I wasn't looking for family at the time because I knew my mom kept preaching education, education, education. Right. Mm -hmm. So I said, while I'm here, I really want to learn on the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And that's what we all were doing, yes. trying to get in the door. Yes, yes. and okay. stay there. And stay yes. there, because right. there was only four film schools when I graduated from high school in 67. Yes, I became. I was 69 last week. Yeah, oh, congratulations, wow. amazing. Yeah. And, getting my, my, amazing. Uh, and I got my doctorate and a couple of oh, honorary. Oh, yes. And I work with the historically black universities because their Thank ag you. students are the game changers yes. in our environment because they believe in equality. Yes. Yes. There's no gender issues. They're yeah. much more fair. I, I have a greater time working with them mm -hmm. than, than some of the people my age because they still have, well, you're not as smart as you're not as... I can now shoot you. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm licensed to carry. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and, and, anyway, and I drive a truck, you know, so... But I wanted to... And I tell my sisters, you know, from, from who I love... Vivica Fox, mm -hmm. all of them that, that mm -hmm. ask me about advice and marital issues, I said, your asset first. Mm -hmm. You know, get your, get your money, build your... Live off the interest of what mm -hmm. you make. Mm -hmm. Then you have mm -hmm. leverage. Yep. So if, you're, if your partner, you know, wrecks your credit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. And leaves you, you know, for whatever, yep. you know, you have something that will give you your leverage to get back on yes. your feet. Yes. Yes. So you I have to be that. a manager, yes. a business manager. You're a brand. Yes. Mm -hmm. You are a brand first. And then you're a family woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can leave any time. Set, mm -hmm. you know, set your, 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 your times, your dates. Some days I don't want to have dinner. Right. I want to have a bowl of cereal and play right. my yeah. video game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then I got a boy. Go, let's go out to dinner. Like, right. Well, I don't feel like it. Now nah, you got, you know, you got to have that flexibility right. where you can but, say, I work really hard. I just don't want to go out to dinner. Right. I want to have that. cereal. I want to get up late. I want to run the house. I want to run the house naked. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but, the, but there's sometimes where it feels good to be able to call your own shots. Absolutely. Ms. Greer, you know, I love that because I refer to myself as Bay building an empire. So I love the information and the advice that you gave Absolutely. us. Now, we know that you were in a relationship with Richard Pryor, Freddie Prince, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Please mm -hmm. tell a me. A Muslim, a co two comedians. Hey, yeah. I'm, I messed up a lot. It was a good time. Good luck. It was a good time. Yeah. Which, by the way, right. Mm -hmm. by the way uh, 
Richard Pryor is one of my favorites. Do you feel like because you was building your career that you missed an opportunity to be a wife or to find true love? Do you feel like you sacrificed one for the other? Mm. Uh, not at all. You can have it parallel because they're going to come to you with their problems and you got to sit there and listen. So I was mm -hmm. able to be a partner as well mm -hmm. because I had the experience. Yes. So you, it, it's both. Mm -hmm. Literally, you manage all day. Kids, dogs, animals, horses, boyfriend. Don't wear that shirt. That shirt, <laughs> that shirt is ugly. Right. Okay, there's no gas in the car. Right. Da, da, da. So you're managing all that. You don't leave one for the other. You never yeah. do. It's always with you. Yeah. There's nothing better than when you had a hard day at the set. You can say, baby, guess what? You know, had, okay, I'm calm. I'm good. So you have that. If they're willing to give it to you and be a partner. Yes. yes. You need a partner. partner. You yes. need a partner. And then when, when you, they ask you those things, and you're hoping that that man has gotten to that point where he can say, Baby, you know, I, I know I want to be strong for you all the time, yeah. but today I have an issue and yes. it bothers me. Can we talk? How do I get through the day? Baby, just get through the day. I'll right. meet you. We'll go someplace quiet right. and talk it that out. That shows the strength, That's actually. That's, That's all the time. You never leave it. And your work teaches you how to be yes. a good partner. And being a partner teaches you how to work. Yes. Mm. But you, but Message. Speak, speaking of strength, can we talk about your plight to expose racial resurgence? Mm. Well, the... The thing that I think, it's always about money. Mm -hmm. It's based on who has the most toys win and who can show that, uh, you know, I'm better than you because of money. Mm -hmm. And that's all it's based on. But for me, when I, when I grew up, my family's from Wyoming, mm -hmm. the Underground Railroad. My great-great-grandmother had a sugar beet farm, and she had the hotel for the blacks and Chinese that worked on the railroad. I gave that mm -hmm. information to Richard Pryor, who gave it to Mel Brooks when they were writing it. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, it, that equality kind of was the... the, the common denominator that mm -hmm. made everybody feel, well, I have to help you with your children or your tractor or your this. So there was this fairness, this equality. Today, there's a, somehow the decency is gone because people used to talk about racism in the privacy of their home. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Gone. Yes. Classism. Yes. You know, that's yes, the privacy of your home. Religion. Mm -hmm. The privacy of your home. But when you approach just... people in the public and you get to spew hatred and something mm -hmm. like that, like, Based well, on our leadership. And it's all good. Just yeah, out no, here well, when you crazy. have a leader that, that facilitates this yes. madness, yes. then all we know is like, yeah, that's over there. Yeah. Yeah. So we know how to maintain our decency right. no matter what mm -hmm. because we all share each other's blood, our kidneys. Mm -hmm. We take care of each other's kids. It's me in, 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 in 99, you know, white families. Mm -hmm. right. And they know that I'll, you know, like plow their driveway in the morning before they get up, mm -hmm. if I'm up first. Their kids break down on the road, I take them home. Wow. Mm -hmm. They know they're safe with me, and they now get a chance to see, you know, I never knew a black person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are people who have never worked or been around a black person or flown before. In 2000, so, yes, so you have to understand that. And so when you show in a great example, they have no way to come back in a negative light because yes. it just doesn't hit them. Yes. Only from another source that has no clue about how wonderful we are yes. wow. yeah. as a country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Supporting one another. Mm -hmm. Women are getting, because like I was saying, you know, like if men don't vote, I, I just gave a keynote speech, you gotta vote. Mm -hmm. And if, if men didn't vote for your equality of pay, then, you know, hey, you come to me, my uncles, my dad, and stuff, mm -hmm. and they didn't vote for equality. Well, they want me to take care of them. I will. Here's your sandwich. Right. Thank, thank, <laughs> but right. ain't no meat in it. Right. <laughs> Okay, right. I wash an you. arm and two legs, but that's it. That's yeah. it. Miss Pam, we could talk forever. Yes, we could. But we got to roll. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being mm. here. Yes. Thank you so much for setting the precedent yes. for all yes. of us. And we are yes. very much forever grateful. But guess for. what? I get it from you. We oh, get it from each God. other. Oh, I got Tamara taught me makeup. Vanetta but talk me peace. Yes. Mm. And she got married to Carl Lumbly, a wonderful right. man. Right. And guess mm. what you, you know? taught us? Foxy. Come yeah. on. <laughs>